Hey friends, welcome back to more Storytime Fun. Today we are reading A Most Unusual Day by Sidra Malfrey, illustrations by E.B. Goodale. Usually, Caroline was awake with the birds. Her eyes would fly open and she'd jump onto her parents' bed with a morning song for them. But not today. Today, Caroline lay still in her bed with her eyes closed, imagining the day before her. Today would be unusual. Caroline was usually organized, but not today. In her and Grandma's rush to catch the bus, she forgot her socks. She forgot her lunchbox. Her feet were sweaty, and she had to eat school lunch. Mohammed Jones offered Caroline some of his lunch. You'll need your strength, he advised. That's okay, she said. But it wasn't. Not today. She moved her broccoli across the foam tray and made a broccoli family. A big, tall mother, a slightly shorter father, the daughter, and one more thing. Caroline was usually graceful, but not today. Today, when Miss Oliver asked, what is a family? Caroline raised her hand a little too fast, bumping Wendy Walker by mistake on her really, really loose front tooth, just enough to make it fall out. Wendy wasn't mad. Thanks, Caroline, she said, patting her on the knee. I've been waiting for that tooth to fall out. Caroline smiled, but she felt slightly strange, like the space where the Wendy's tooth once was. Caroline was usually helpful, but not today. Today she wiped the tables, well, she tried. Today she fed the fish, well, she tried. She tried to clean up the art center, she really tried. She thought she ought to practice for home. Dad said they'd be needing her help, soon. You must be tired from all of that helping, Caroline, Miss Oliver said. Would you like to come over here and read with us? Caroline was usually calm, but today something kept her tapping her foot, kept her tilting her chair, kept her chewing her thumbnail. She kept thinking about what would happen soon. She kept looking at the clock, looking at the door. Something was unusual about today. Because at the end of the day, at dismissal, right when Caroline was unthinkably, inexplicably drawing an airplane on the school wall with her, I got caught being good, Pencil. Right when Miss Oliver looked at her and gasped, Caroline, the bell rang. Usually, Caroline's parents were calm and collected, but not today. Today, Daddy's glasses were held together with tape. Today, Mommy's socks did not match. They had sleepy eyes and big, giant smiles. Today, they had a blanket. Today, they had a bundle from far, far away. Today, they had her new baby sister with her toes perfectly curled, her eyes perfectly bright, her cry perfectly high, her fingers so strong and so, so small, perfectly tight around Caroline's finger. This baby made everything, every usual thing, unusually new and perfectly right. This baby, her sister, made Caroline's day. The end. Thanks for listening to this story. Bye, friends.